Hello my friends, in today's video I will be answering probably the most frequently asked question on this channel which is how I color grade my videos. This will be specifically about color grading Sony A6500 footage but it can also be applied on different Sony cameras with newest picture profiles. I will also make version for Panasonic footage in near future. Before we get into the color grading, I would like to explain some in-camera settings that are crucial for getting footage highly suitable for heavier color grading. So first of all, I shoot in 4K 100 megabits per second in 25 FPS. With these settings, camera captures as much information as possible and for slow motion, I use 1080p 100 megabits per second in 100 or 120 frames per second. Regarding the picture profile, I use a very popular setting among Sony shooters, which is picture profile 8 with gamma set to Cine 4. It is great all-round setting, the picture is flat, it captures a lot of details in highlights and shadows, much more than with picture profile off. S-Log2 and S-Log3 are even flatter, but these are a bit trickier to work and not necessarily ideal for every situation, so picture profile 8 with gamma set to Cine 4 is my choice. Once you have your footage, you can import it to Premiere Pro or your editing software of choice. This will be pretty simple steps, so you should be able to do it in any video editing software with coloring options. I'll be using Lumetri Color, which is built-in tool in Premiere Pro. Here I'll also point out that it is really important to have monitor with accurate colors, ideally calibrated, because you really don't want the final result to be different than what you see on your monitor. The first scene that we will take a look at is just the usual testing lens. I have chosen this scene because there is relatively bright sky and darker ground so it certainly makes sense to use flat picture profile here. The first thing that I like to do is to raise the saturation in basic correction step to get some color back to the footage and it also makes the following steps a bit easier. Here I usually set the saturation to about 150 or until the colors look good to me. The second step is to adjust the curve in curve step. You can see that there are four dots here. White means all colors and green, red and blue represent corresponding color channels in your shot. We'll be working with all colors, so the white dot is selected. I'm also not using scopes, I just color grade according to what I see. Now the lower part of the curve represents shadows, middle part represents midtones, and upper part of the curve represents highlights. The first thing that I like to do is to put new point on the curve in the middle, simply by clicking there. Then I move the lower part of the curve until I'm happy with the look of darker parts of the image. Then I move on to the upper part of the curve where I just highlight again until it looks good to me. Generally with these curves you are just trying to find out what looks the best. So here you are free to use your creativity and go for a look which suits your style. Then I like to go back to basic corrections and adjust the saturation again. Here I will turn it just a little bit down. Then I go to creative tab where you can adjust the sharpness. In picture profile 8 the in-camera sharpening is turned all the way down so here you can add some sharpness back. I usually go for 5 to 20 depending on what look I want to achieve. About 12 looks good here. And these are the steps to make basic color corrections to turn the flat footage to more naturally looking footage. And then you have a lot of options for actual color grading as the way of achieving specific look of your footage. For example, you can go teal and orange, which is a very popular style, simulating sort of cinematic or filmic look. You can do that in color wheels by using blue or teal color in shadows and then compensating for that with orange in highlights and if needed in midtones. Or you can fade the footage by pulling the darkest shadows up and brightest highlights down, which also simulates kind of vintage look. Honestly, if I want to do heavy color grading, I use other tools, mostly Magic Blue that looks plugin for Premiere Pro. Luma 3 will be sufficient for most of users, but uh, Magic Bullet Looks or DaVinci Resolve offer more options and it is also a lot easier to work with those if you want advanced options. Another scene that we will take a look at is from my upcoming video on my second channel, which is about wristwatches. Here I would like to show you how picture profile 8 and color grading works with skin tones. If I shoot with default settings, especially if the main subject is dark, my hands are overexposed and there are even some completely white spots. With picture profile 8 it is not a problem, unlike the landscape shot, this is shot with moving objects, so here I will choose the frame to color grade first. Here the color correction workflow is the same, I have adjusted the saturation, 
than the curve but here I've only used minor tweaks because there is not much contrast in this picture and here I will also boost the vibrance a bit and sharpen the picture by 15 and I think that's it. And I'll show you one more shot from that video and here I especially wanted to capture the details on the hands and our indices. There is also not that much contrast in this picture, so this is really easy to grade. I'll just increase the saturation, around 125 is enough here I think. I will make the blacks darker and highlights a bit brighter. Here I also want to make the yellow accents a bit more distinctive, so for that I will use hue saturation curves. I will select yellow colors by making two points on the circle and pulling that yellow colors out until it looks as I wish. I will also increase the sharpness, around 25 looks good here I think. One last thing that I would like to show you in this video is how I color grade footage shot with default picture profile or picture profile off. In that case I usually stay in basic corrections tab and because this is not a flat picture here I actually like to turn the highlights down and shadows up and also add a bit of contrast to the picture by using whites and blacks sliders. I also usually increase the saturation a bit to like 108 or 110. This is really easy to do and it can make the footage a bit more interesting or more pleasing to look at. So this is how I color grade or color correct my videos. I will probably make at least one more video about more advanced color grading in near future. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope that you like this video and that you found it to be useful. Stay tuned for more videos and maybe consider subscribing if you don't want to miss my future content. I appreciate your feedback in form of thumbs up or thumbs down. If you'd like to ask anything or share your opinion, please do so in the comment section and see you next time.